Sorry I'm early. Um, today, All right, here we go. Live chat. Gracie, stop. Stop. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Tina. Hey, Missouri Bell. Hi, Mama Dukes. Today, um, today I am um, starting my ground meat for canning. Now, I gotta blow my nose. Hang on. And then wash my hands. Ah! Oh! Yes, Gracie. So yesterday, I um, got my plants ready. Um, I had to throw out three packages of my ground pork because they had looked like they had thawed and then be re been refrozen when they showed up. And I can't take that chance. But right here, oh! I'll show you in a second when I get this all laid out. Oh, there we go. I got um, my neighbor butchered a beef and asked if I needed any hamburger, and I said, absolutely. No, Gracie, none of this is for you. None. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get my meat in the oven because I'm going to be canning ground meat, and then I'm going to get supper started with y'all. So, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to be using part of this. No, Gracie, you cannot have this meat. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to give this a rinse just to see. Even though it's clean, it's had the outside of the wrapper sitting in it. So, just give it a little rinse. Oh. All right, let's get started. Now, I am, I'm, I'm going to talk in a little bit, but this is mostly for tomorrow's video or the next day's video. It all depends on when I get my stuff done. But first, the meat has to be cooked. So, I don't particularly like ground pork, but I have four packages here. All right, what do I need for, what do I have for a garbage bag? Hang on. <clears throat> Look how crazy. Yeah, I know, Tina. Okay, let's just set this over here with the, the salt container on it to hold it in place. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to roast these four packages of... Um, ground pork. I'm going to say these are roughly a pound to a pound and a bit. Get out of that bag, young lady. And once I get these in the oven, we can start prep for supper. Now, that's about four pounds and a bit. Now, these packages... 
And these scissors are got to be sharpened. These packages are um, local hay-fed lean ground beef. Lean. Very lean. And I'm going to cook these together. Where'd my paper towel go? It says I'm making a mess here. Gracie, stop. Oh. Gracie, for the love of God, get out from under my feet. So I have four pounds, or I'm going to say that's five pounds of pork. These are all a pound and a half each. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So six is nine. That's nine pounds of ground beef. These are bad. These scissors are driving me nuts. What's going on, Charles? Hi, Diana. Yes, folks, remember, you must always, always, always cook ground meat if you're going to can it. This one's still partially frozen. She is so hopeful, I know. Well, thank you, Diana. Hey, Charles Bauer, sweet sipper. Tina Elliott. Now, some of these, these have been thawing in the fridge overnight. And some of them are just not, some of them are still frozen. So, that's okay. Let's get you guys down in here like this. So, we can make more room. So, six. So, I'm going to have nine pounds of ground beef and four pounds of ground pork. So there's going to be more beef than pork, but then I have a beef coming. And the farmer I bought the pork from is going to replace the three that I lost of ground pork. So when I get more, I'm going to, gr I'm going to can more. Why? Because there's only two of us, folks, right? There's only two of us. And one of these is is like three jars of meat for Howie and I. And I've still got, like, I got, I got 30 pounds. I got, no, I got 20 of these packages. So what's that? Yeah, that's 30 pounds of ground beef. And then I have my, my beef coming, hopefully, hopefully uh, next week my side of beef will be coming. So I want to get we can't eat all of the meat in our freezer before it starts to get freezer burnt. So ground meat, I'll leave some for meatloafs and meatballs and stuff. But but 90% of my ground meat get meat, excuse me, gets canned. Oh, and I'm gonna be using my um I'm going to be using my new four jars pressure canner but they sent me a replacement valve i haven't used it yet they sent me a replacement valve and they said it's better just to replace it than to try the one that's on it because they were having some problems with the valves oh there's a little piece of meat fell gracie there you go if i can get i'm gonna see if i can't get a couple more packages of hamburger in there i'll be right back i'm gonna get a couple more from the freezer and i'm gonna put them in warm water Wait a minute, I've got nine and four is thir 14, 13 pounds. I'm gonna go get another package, a couple of packages. Really long time. It's been a year and a half process getting everything ready, done, that is, what's going on? What's going on, Charles? Like, what are you having operated on? I know I waited over a year and a half to have my hernia surgeries done. All right, I'll be right back, folks. I'm going to fill up this bowl with warm water. I just need the packaging or the, the thawing 
Enough that I can get the package off. Gracie, you get away from that bag. I got four more packages that I'm going to set in hot water here. Just enough to get the packages open. Give them a couple of minutes. Now we're Right, you're in the dishwasher. I'm going to try and start breaking this up. No, that's frozen, that's not. Okay, some of this. This was all I could fit in the fridge overnight. Now you can break this up. Boy, as much as you want, but Howie likes chunks. So, yeah, I think I can get the other four packages in here. Oh, for the love of God, Gracie. Sit, please. Come here. Come here. Sit. Say please. Say it loud. Say please, it's raw meat. Say please. Please. Good job. Good catch. All right. My oven is set at 325 degrees. I will be covering this because I don't want it really um, cooked, cooked, like dry cooked on the top. I want it cooked moist. Yay! Now remember, Charles, I got to tell you this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this while we're waiting for our other meat. Gastric bypass is not the solution. I have had one. The solution is taking the time while you can't eat to break your relationship with food. Okay? And believe it or not, we have a relationship with food. We, we, as overweight people, have relied on food for comfort for a very long time. So please, 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 don't make the mistake of saying, oh, of trying to eat the things you used to eat. Make new choices and get used to them. Or else you're, it's, it's not going to work. You, the, you have to own the fact that food is an issue for you. And then you need to work on changing your relationship with food while the gastric bypass is working because you'll lose a lot of weight in the first year. And then if you go back to old habits, you'll gain weight again. I got sick, I gained weight, and now it's really, really even harder to lose, okay? So please, please, please. And email me, is Seashell here? Email me at connectedheartsfamily at gmail.com. Put gastric bypass in the subject line if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one with me through email, okay? Because it's, it's a really big thing to do. And I was, I had years in 12-step program to help me. And it did. But I still screwed up a lot of things, right? It's kind of like gluten, going gluten-free. Don't try and have the things you had before you, when you were eating gluten. Just eat the new stuff that's got no gluten in it. Try, try not to, like, you know, if you're gluten-free, try not to bake bread. There's no point in baking bread if you're gluten intolerant, even if it's gluten-free bread. Why? Because you're going to be disappointed. It's not the same, and you're still encouraging old habits, right? Okay, so... Let me get back. Let me go get those uh, out of the out of the hot water, and then I'm gonna get these in the oven. And we're, I'm gonna wipe the table. And we're gonna get prepping for supper. Oh, crazy!
so what did we say? We had 13 pounds. So now I'm adding one, two, three, four, six more pounds. So that's 19 pounds of ground meat. Okay. Now, as long as I can get the package open. And then pulled away. There we go. I don't mind it being butcher wrapped, but I like it being vacuum sealed with it. Hey, Jammin! Spending time with my dog right now. She's very sick and probably won't be coming home from the vet this afternoon. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, so I'm just going to... All right, you guys need to see what I'm doing here, don't you? Whoops. Uh-oh. Come here, you. Something went wrong here. I can't get it to stand back up. Dang. Dang. There, that's as good as it gets, folks. And then these are going into a 325 degree oven to slow roast all afternoon while I prep for supper. And then once supper's prepped, I'll be going off camera because I have to wash my, finish my dishes and then get my jars washed for canning tonight. And when Howie gets home, uh, part of the video will be showing how to install the new, um, the new, <sighs> frag, the new spout thing. I haven't even smoked anything yet. Because they were saying some people were having a hard time with it and not getting correct pressure. So they said, don't even bother trying to uh, work with the, the gauge. It's not the gauge, but it's the little spout that you put your weight on. Don't even bother trying in case you lose your, you lose your seal. So there we go. 19 pounds of ground meat. Five or six of those pounds is pork, but it's mostly beef. Oops. I'm just going to put this bag down here because I still have potato peels to do, and you stay away from that bag, Gracie. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. i got to get this in the oven. Oh, holy Scheisenheimer. That's more than 19 pounds. Okay, where's the lid? Okay. I'll just use tin foil. I'm going to have to open it and close it a lot anyway. Uh-oh. Don't you go out, power. salt that meat. I'll do what I guess next. Oh, for God's sake. I've lost a light bulb. I've lost a light bulb. Oh, maybe not. It was just loose. Okay. everything off here. Okay. Now. I'm 
I'm making, hang on a second. Give me a second, folks. Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And today, today we're canning approximately 20 pounds of ground meat in my new four jar pressure canner. Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And today's pantry pull meal is scalloped potatoes and pork chops. But I'm doing them in the oven today. Finish with that pot, Gracie. I'm back, folks. I'm back. I'm sorry for leaving you waiting like that. Now, let's get this all. Oh, my God. Oh, shoot. That wasn't supposed to happen. This while I was standing up. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. There, that's better, isn't it? Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Missouri Bell. No, Gracie, you stay away from that garbage bag. I know you smell the meat juice, but you can't have it. Okay, so let me see. Oh, let's get you up a little bit higher. Start the other camera. And make sure it's recording this time. Just in case I can't get it from here. Okay, so... Here we have casserole dish. Oh, it's on the back. I'm just gonna spray it with avocado oil. Set it aside. I hurt my wrist yesterday using another can opener that's just too hard to wind. There's the mushrooms. Um, use what you got, what not you have not got. My glasses, that'll work. 
There we go. Hey, 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 how's it going? So, I'm going to peel my potatoes first. I'm using up these fresh potatoes. Whenever fresh potatoes go on sale for under $5 for a 10-pound bag, I'll get them. Not every time, but if I don't have any handy. Um, because sometimes fresh potatoes are best, right? I need a bowl. I'm, I'm going to get something to rinse these in. Oh. Go, Gracie. Move. strainer here so I can put the potatoes in it and then put them in to rinse after they're sliced. You always want to wash the starch off. <sighs> hey! Buff bum fluff! I know it's you. How's it going? Hey! Karen Belair! Jules! Sarah Goldie! Uh, let me see. Seashell! Tina! Have I missed anybody? I'm sure I have. It says there's 83 people and I'm... Is that a good drink of water, Gracie? Hey, Omela, how are you? We haven't seen you in a long time. Hi, Lori P. You're lurking from working, ya, yeah, flurking clurking. We're glad you could be here, Lori P. Oh, you work in a half an hour. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to um, get these scallop potatoes ready and throw them in the fridge. And then I'm going to uh, get my pork chops ready to go on top. But that'll be all part of the video. So here, let's just get this organized. I think five potatoes should be plenty. We shall see. Mrs. V, have you ever home canned mushrooms? Yes, I have. And how expensive are they right now? It's cheaper to buy fresh than to can. Not here. Uh, canned mushrooms are on sale right now at Giant Tiger, at least our Giant Tiger, for 97 cents a can. And I haven't seen anywhere close to a pound of mushrooms under $2. So, and they shrink. The trick to canning your home canning mushrooms is to slice them all up and then boil them till they're limp. Pour off the water and then can them with fresh salted water. Okay, because, Gracie, get out of that. Oh, you're bad. Stop. Now go lay down. Go on. Oh, shoot. Bev, I'll tell you. Ugh. Sometimes. Sometimes. I wonder about myself. You freeze dry. I wish I could afford a freeze dryer. Yeah, this... You want to take the outer shell off of this onion because it's going soft. All right. Hey! Now, I said no. Now, knock it off. I'm going to throw this bag in the porch so you can't get at it. Get our 
spud thing here. Don't buy the one. This is Star Frit. Don't buy the one off a of team, you folks. I guarantee you it'll fall apart the second or third time you use it. As a matter of fact, everything I've bought from TMU has turned to crap. So I'm glad uh, I got rid of that. Into here. This, I have two potatoes left. Hey, Alex! Yeah, they're usually $1.99 to $1.29 here. Uh, $1.29 for the cheap, cheap ones. But they're on sale for $0.97, cents, so I'm probably going to be going to Giant Tiger tomorrow. And I'll guarantee the only thing left will be dented cans so we'll see and the oi get up here thank you and we're gonna drop our onion in slice side down and there we go okay so i'm gonna rinse these and then we're going to get our stuff together. You're welcome, Karen. Well, you know, what else am I going to tell you? Okay, I've opened these mushrooms. Okay, let's get this out of here. Uh, boy! going to rinse these put that over that so yeah there right there oh. rinse the starch off with cold water Let's get our, now I don't do the fancy ones. I always use mushroom soup. Um, I used to do scallop potatoes, you know, where you'd layer them with sprinkled flour and pour heavy cream over them and all that stuff. And nine times out of 10, it only worked occasionally. Sometimes my cream would separate or, or something like that. Oh, come on. Don't make me get out the one that hurts my hands. Thank you. There we go. All righty. What are we talking about? Lacey, I've seen one do it. Oh, I can't reach the mouse. Hang on a second. Oops. What did I miss? See, this is why people tell me to scroll back and I can't. What have you seen somebody do on YouTube, honey? Any reviews on the Harvest Right? And I said, I've seen one couple that did it on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so now we've oiled our pan here generously. We're going to put a layer of potatoes on top. Or on the bottom, I mean. Duh. I'm not all here today. I'm never all here. Okay. So when you're canning mushrooms, 
don't and the first you know boil slice them and boil them to limp then pour that water off it's yucky i know people say oh i make mushroom broth no thanks that's you know you do that you go right ahead but not me okay so let's get some mushrooms in here I'm going to put the onions in the middle there. Electric can opener. Yeah, I have. Um, as a matter of fact, I dropped the hint several times this Christmas, but nobody thought of it. You know, I just, an electric can opener would be, I used to have one years and years ago. And then, you know, dopey me said, oh, it, when it broke down after, I don't know, 10 years, they, I said, oh, I'll just get a cheap one, you know, and I've been buying them ever since. And even the cheap one, even the expensive ones are no good. The one I sprained my wrist on yesterday, well, I paid $8 for a Canadian tire. Okay, let's get the rest of these on here. that and then later I'll show you how I cook them with the pork chops on top the last bloody mushroom God knows they charge enough for them and then on goes the mushroom soup and I'm gonna put this in the in the fridge until it's time to go in the oven and hopefully that will um, allow this to spread throughout the mushrooms, or th mushrooms, throughout the potatoes, okay? Right? Make sure every potato on the top has, especially the ones in the corner, because your, your pork chops aren't going to cover the corners, okay? And that's that. I'm going to put this in the fridge. friends is all the work you're getting out of me today oh God, that was silly if you don't clean the mushrooms well before dehydrating them they will turn whatever you put them in dark really I'm not sure. I think it's Bev's the only Canadian homesteader I watch rest are in the U.S. I, uh, I tried to get a Harvest Right um, freeze dryer gifted to me, but, excuse me, but they were, they, they were back ordered. And they said, you know what, we don't need any help selling them, trust me. Home Dicks Lumber Lift Back Stretcher. What is that? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah. Dirt broth, not mushroom broth. Yeah, exactly. So if I'm still looking, but even at the mushroom farms that are close in Ottawa, the carbon tax is so high that I can't afford to buy like five, 10 pounds of mushrooms. 10 pounds of mushrooms would probably give me 24 half pint jars, not even. 10 pounds of mushrooms would probably give me 15 or 20 half pint jars. And a five pound box of mushrooms is like $45. So it's, everything is built to fail in this country, right? The carbon tax, it, carbon tax forces us to buy cheap shit from other countries because our local farmers are being strangled by the carbon tax. It's like uh, there's in Manatech outside on the other side of Ottawa, they have this farm called Manatech, uh, 
Manatee Miracles, I think they're called, or these beautiful little tomatoes. And because of the carbon tax, they it is cheaper to buy Mex Mexican tomatoes, fresh tomatoes that have been shipped partially green than it is to buy local. Because local farmers, um, especially if they're growing in greenhouses, they pump those greenhouses with carbon dioxide. Do you know why? Because that's what feeds the plants. They eat the carbon dioxide, they give off, they give off oxygen. But the Liberal and NDP coalition has just made their carbon tax 23% more. So buying local um, it, it is not necessarily the right, you know, we can't afford it. I got 13 pints out of 24 packages of mushrooms. I think they're like 10 or 12 ounce packages. Eight ounces is a pound. No, 16 ounces is a pound, right? And yeah, very expensive. So, hola! Where's Ola? Oh, I, I keep going to swipe down my screen and it's a laptop and it's old and it doesn't do that anymore. So if you want to can mush fresh mushrooms, make sure you're getting a really, really good deal because they shrink. Okay. But home canned mushrooms are awesome if you can get it. Right. And, you know, I would like to get my hands on like 20 pounds of mushrooms. Because 20 pounds of mushrooms would probably give me about 35 half pints. But I'll, let me tell you, let me, let me, let me just I'll tell you what. I'm on my little laptop here. Let's, let's do some investigating. Let's do some investigating here. All right. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. I don't want, got my little rubber sheet down here. Come here, my mouse. All right, let's do this and let's go um, bulk fresh mushrooms, Ottawa. Bulk fresh mushrooms, buy local five pound box. Now listen, this is organic, okay? $26 for five pounds. Now they say a pint's a pound the whole world round, right? So a five pound box might get you uh, nine or 10 little half pint jars, $26. Now I pay $1.29 for the Chinese mushrooms and they're on sale right now for 97 cents. So 15 of those Okay, even if you stretched it, 15 of those is going to cost $15. But when, you know, it's cauliflower, get it, get the inside scoop. So that's one place. Mushroom, shiitake, Carlton Mushroom Farms. Here we go. Now that's in Ottawa, okay? The white mushrooms are the ones you want to... Uh, King Oyster and Enoki are currently not available. Now, where do they say white mushrooms? Contact, farm location. Doesn't give you prices. Where's the prices? Recipes, mushrooms. Okay, here we go. White shiitake, curbside pickup farm location but they don't tell you the cost so you're going to get all the way out there place an order well let's have a look here because they're going to place an order online just to see how much the white mushrooms cost it won't even let me how are we keeping safe Menu, retail, okay, mushrooms. See, they don't tell you the price, the Carlton Farm mushrooms, so I'll phone them and let you know. But I'm telling you, I, unless, 
You know how those little things, those little half pound tubs, eight ounce tubs, or even a one pound tub, if they go on sale for 99 cents, then I would buy, I would spend like $50. But there's no way, I haven't seen uh, a one pound package of white button mushrooms under $1.88. Um, and then they're, they're, they, they limit them. So, oh, I'm sorry. I shut you guys off. I can't see the chat. Hang on a second. Let me just open it up here. Okay, there we go. You definitely felt what? So, yeah, buying locally is uh, the government makes it extremely hard because the government wants us to buy from China. And that's that, right? So I'm going to let you guys go because now i got to get my dishes done and start washing jars so I can can tonight. All right? I don't know what video you're getting tomorrow. It's probably the pork chops and the potatoes pantry pull meal. It's not going to be any kind of like, it's going to be an expensive meal. I don't know what my, well, my pork chops, my pork chops are about five bucks because I got them from the farmer and the potatoes. So, I mean, our, our supper is going to be a $10 supper no matter how you slice it. But every once in a while, you got to feed your man a piece of meat that he has to cut into something solid, not hamburger or meatball. Or meatloaf. Sometimes your man just needs a hunk of meat. I hope our beef comes soon. This is Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying thanks for hanging out with me while I got my meat in the oven and my supper's prepped. All right. Mwah! Take care. God bless. I'll see you all very, very soon. I love you guys. Never forget that.